Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon for further notifications and like, share and subscribe to the channel. Fury vs Susek is nearly 2 weeks away. Both fighters are in camp and there's a strange quiet before the big fight. No interviews from either camp, no training footage, nothing. There's complete silence and secrecy. Both camps are playing their cards close to their chest and aren't giving away much. Even their public appearance in the last couple of weeks haven't been there. The only thing that they have done is a sit down face to face with Steve Barnes. But it appears that both the fighters are committed and taking the fight very seriously. It's for their legacy. and a chance to become undisputed however certain rumors are doing the rounds initially it was reported that tyson fury was dropped in sparring by cruiserweight jai apataya the pair only sparred a couple of rounds and apataya dropped him and he left the fury camp and returned home this only fueled the rumor that fury had been lit up in sparring opetaya scamp however released a statement and categorically denied the rumors of either fighter getting dropped but it didn't stop there now it's being reported that fury has been in war in sparring camps and it's being suggested that all is not well with him well all these are speculations and not been substantiated by facts ever since tyson fury was dropped by francis and ganu and he had a poor outing the consensus opinion has been that fury is slowing down maybe his punch resistance has gone maybe his legs have gone too in a couple of months fury has him brought down to earth and made to look rather ordinary and now the news about this sparring so does tyson fury have a mole in sparring camp or is it a part of his mind games to present himself to be down and out fury has a huge physical advantage over usyk and a boxing brain to go with it his jab alone can be a deciding factor in this fight and the thing that people seem to be overlooking is fury's ability to move and slip punches remember he lost over 150 pounds and spent 3 years out of the ring and was still able to box circles around deonte wilder now granted his style has changed but it isn't like he can't go back and tweak a couple of things His best performance was the second fight with Wilder. If he comes focused and anywhere close to that shape, then it's most likely that he would no knock, knock Usyk out. And Usyk didn't look particularly good against Daniel Dubois, but still stopped him. He was vulnerable to the body. but daniel dubois could not capitalize when he was hurt now usyk fights the level of his opposition it's undeniable that he would be at his best against fury he has packed muscles as well so that would slow him down a bit but still usyk is a master tactician he made joshua look like an amateur twice that pace and output in the later rounds was almost uncanny and if fury slows down usyk will make him play and alexander usyk has been preparing for this fight ever since larimer klitschko lost to tyson fury it's a legacy fight for both fighters and a chance of becoming undisputed so can tyson fury rise up to the occasion and become the first british undisputed champion since lennox lewis or will alexander usyk 
become the second man since Evander Holyfield to become the undisputed cruiserweight champion and undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. A lot is at stake. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.